Worksheet protection is great for stopping people messing up your spreadsheets, but let's face it, it creates a pretty poor user experience in some cases. Wouldn't it be great if you could just get rid of all that protection, do what you need to do, and then put it back on afterwards and no one's any the wiser, you don't need to know the password or anything. Well, that is what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video today. I'm gonna give you three ways you can remove the protection from an Excel sheet when you don't know the password. First one's a bit of a long shot, but it's worth a go. Second one uses VBA code, and the third one, we're gonna be actually hacking the file itself, but it is foolproof. So let's get on with it. Right, first method, bit of a long shot. So let's say we've got this spreadsheet here. We've been given this, uh, and you can see, you try to change anything, you've got um, a message coming up saying, it's protected, can't do anything. So it's clearly protected at the moment. Now, the first thing is, is it, look up here, is it an XLSM file? In other words, does it have macros? Because if it does, it's always worth checking the code to see if the password's been given away. So push Alt F11, you're going to the VBA editor, and in here, there's likely to be, find your file, so protected sheet one in this case, go to one of the modules, now there might be several modules, so you have to check each one independently, and what you're looking for, so there's a ton of code in here, but if I just push Control F to search, and I'm gonna search for, um, protect okay find next and there you go straight away we found a piece of code that says and this is exactly what you're looking for active sheet dot unprotect now it might not be active sheet might be something else dot unprotect and there you go afterwards will be the password and this is a total schoolboy error that i've seen happen time and time again people write vba code which needs to alter protected sheets. So they just simply code in the removal of the password. And I expect if I did another search, I'll find the password being put back on at the end of the code. Happens all the time. If you find it, it's fantastic. You've now got the password uh, and you can just type it straight in and unlock the sheet. So if that applies, you're onto a winner, right? Assuming it's not an Excel macro workbook, you're gonna need method two. So if you can't find a password within the VBA code or there isn't any VBA code, then you can actually create some VBA code to crack the password. And that's what we're gonna do here in method two. Now, just a quick warning on this. This will just remove the protection completely and you will have no way of putting the protection back again with the same password. I've given you the code, the basic code in the description. So you need to copy and paste that code. So I just pulled it up on screen on notepad. So I'm just gonna do control A to select it all, control C to copy it. I'm gonna go back to this spreadsheet, hit Alt F11. I'll bring up the uh, VBA editor. Now you can just put this code anywhere, but I'm gonna put it on the actual sheet that I'm trying to unprotect. That way I just, you know, simple place to put it. So you double click on that in the Project Explorer and paste it in. What this does is a brute force cracker. It's gonna go through every iteration of possible passwords and just try and unprotect the sheet. And if it's unsuccessful, that would normally generate an error, but this line of code here is gonna mean that it's just gonna ignore all the errors. It works on the active sheet, so you need to make sure the sheet that you're trying to unprotect is the active sheet. And by the active sheet, I mean it's just highlighted it's the main one available in Excel at the moment. So that'd be this. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to this code. Now, if I just run this, it quite often crashes the machine, right? So you try it, but make sure you've got a copy of your, of your spreadsheet before you do that and anything else you're working on because it can cause some kind of heavy crash of the computer. But what I'm gonna do is show you a quick method that will prevent the crashes, or it certainly prevented them in my book. And that is, go through and you can click in the margins of the VBA code and you can put these stops. Now that will just stop the code running. 
each time it hits. What you need to do is you click anywhere in the code and hit F5 to run it. And you need to do this several times because it's just going to hit these stops all the time. And then as soon as it gets to the last one, it's going to run that code. And this is going to give you an idea of how long it's going to take. So when the first one's run, you can un unclick it and hit F5 again. And that will run it effect effectively. It's running that loop twice now. Yeah, and now that's finished. And unclick that one, run it again. And what you're looking for is a message is going to come up to say when it's complete and when, it, when it's finished. So I'm just going to run through this myself and then I'll get back to you when I get that. Okay, after an amount of time, you should get a message on screen like this saying complete. Now, when I say after some time, this has just taken me nearly two hours. Now, it's going to depend on what's in the spreadsheet, to be honest, because when I was running this on a blank workbook yesterday with a very simple four letter password, it was only actually taking about five minutes to run the whole thing. But in the real world, I guess, you're going to have more complex spreadsheets, you're going to have more complex passwords. So yeah, it could take a while. So you might want to kind of run it overnight or something like that. I click OK. Obviously it's jumped back into the VBA, but if I go back to here, you can see that we should be able to do what we want. It's all basically unprotected and you can do what you like. So that's method two. Remove the password using VBA. Okay, now for the most robust method there is of removing passwords from Excel files and also the ability to put them back again. So we need to come out of Excel or certainly out of that file. Now that one was protected sheet free I was just looking at. And what you need to do is change the file extension of the file to a zip file, okay? So you've got a warning about changing that, which you can ignore and click yes. Now, if you can't see file extensions, you need to change a Windows Explorer setting. I'll just show you that in a minute. If you right click on that zip file and you open it with Windows Explorer. So, if you can't see settings, by the way, if you can't see the file extensions, go to the view menu on Windows Explorer and make sure this is ticked, file name extensions, okay? But anyway, what we're gonna do is go to this new extract bar, because we're now in a zip file, and hit extract all, and that's just gonna put it on my desktop, which is ideal, so I'll just extract it to my desktop. Instantly opens in a folder, I can now close the original. So I'm now looking at the contents of my zipped up Excel spreadsheet file. And you can see there's a folder, or there will always be a folder called Excel. And it's that that you need to open. Within that, there'll be one called Worksheets. So you open up Worksheets and you'll have an XML file for every worksheet. What we need to do, now we've only got one in here and that's the one that's got the protection, but you'll need to do this for every sheet that's got protection. Right click on it and click edit. That will open a dialog. It might it might just open in an editor, but we're gonna open it in Notepad. You need to be able to edit it. Opening it in Internet Explorer is not gonna help you. If you've got something like 7-Zip or WinRAR installed already on your computer, then you can edit zip files directly. So you don't need to extract them, but I'm showing you the software free version of doing this hack. Right, there's a load of code. You don't really need to understand it. All you need to do Let's hit Control F and find the word protect. And there we go. Right, so you can see we now have sheet protection. Now what you need to do is highlight the code immediately before it and make a note of it. So I'm going to use a blank notepad down here. I'm just going to put the code immediately before. I'm then going to take the sheet protection code and all the code, what I'm looking for is the arrow, kind of the right hand arrow, which signifies the end of the sheet protection code. So I'm gonna keep going along until I find this. Uh, should be quite soon, there it is, right. Okay, so that's there. So I'm going to now cut to that using Control X. Go back and make another note of that. Hit 
turn. And then I'm also going to make a note of the next piece of code. Put that there. So we now know that this piece of code goes between these other two pieces. So if we want to put this password back, that's what we're that's where we need to put it within the code. So we need to bear that in mind. Right. So go back to the XML file and we can just close it because we've cut that entire protection piece of code out and say yes. And then if we go back here to the file again and we click um, on protected free. So this is the name of the spreadsheet, whatever the name of the spreadsheet is, that folder. Highlight it all, go to share, hit zip. That will zip it all into one file and we'll call this um, unprotected three. And we'll give it, rather than zip, we'll call it XLSX, which of course will give you another warning. Click OK. Right, I'm going to move that back onto the dashboard, right? So we now have the same file in Excel, but this time you can see it's unprotected. So that, that's, that's kind of it if all you want to do is remove your protection. But what I'm going to do is change the file and reinstate the protection. So I just highlight this and say, you know, oh, check this video out. And obviously I would highly recommend you do check this video out. Right, amazing dynamic Excel charts. Okay, I'm now going to save this. And I can't put the protection back on here because I don't know what the password originally was. I could put my own password on, but that's, that's not what I'm talking about here, about reinstating the original password. So we now have this unprotected three. So now I want to reinstate the protection. So again, change the file extension to a zip. And I'm going to open it with Windows Explorer and extract all to the desktop. Close that one there. So this is the extracted document. Again, back in the Excel folder, the worksheets folder. And there's the sheet one, which I can now edit in Notepad. So that's all the same as we previously did. So now what I need to do, because in theory, if I click on there, protect, it can't find it because there is no protection on the sheet. I want to put it back in. Where do I put it? Well, this is where our notes came in. So I'm going to look for sheet data. So control F, control V, find next sheet data, right. Is it the next piece of code page margins? No, it's not, it's row. And that's absolutely critical that you put this in the right place. So go back, find the next one, sheet data. Right, next piece of code is sheet margins, excellent. Right, so we need to paste that piece of code, that missing piece of code back in between these two lines. So we'll take the whole thing out, copy it, paste it back in. Okay, close it, save it. Right, now we could close that, but I'm gonna keep it just in case something goes wrong. Right, so if we go back up to our unprotected free now, highlight it all, go to share, go to zip, we call this reprotected, it's reprotected and XLS X. Reprotected, let's have a look. It's got my change on it. It won't let me change it. Superb. Did it use the same password though? Because that's key, because when you give this back to the person, it's gonna be stunned. How on earth did you change that? You must know the password. Format unprotect, and I'm pretty sure. Yes, same password, up for Excel as it was on this. So there we go. So that is how you can remove a password and make changes to a file and reinstate the exact same password without even knowing what that password is. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
Make sure you hit subscribe for plenty more tips and tricks on Upflat XL. I'll see you soon.